Do you believe? All right, let's say hypothetical. Running it by, running it by you. You got a, you got a startup, and they're building some sort of widget, maybe widget API or something like that. Should they go through multiple, you know, rounds of funding and then uh, build a product and then get a product and then once they have, you know, a year and a half down the road, they have this product, they're ready to take to market, and then they start creating content around their product, or should they create content from day one? This doesn't even apply just to developers or APIs. You should be, you know, working on content from day one. Like that is the is such an important part of the process because even if no one reads that initial content, it's going to act as a really good repository of information from the future. Like when you look back and be like, well, why did we make that decision? And why did we target that audience and those types of things? So it kind of you know acts as a historical document of what you've done. Um, but also, you know, engagement with that type of content only kind of gets better over time. Uh, it's good to have this repository of things from the past because it just really shows your history to people. And if someone comes along as a developer, like picking an API, um, so let's say, you know, I go along to like a, an email company, like, I don't know, let's say SendGrid or someone like that, um, or even MailChimp, whatever. I go and look at their website and I click on their blog and I'm like, oh, these guys seem kind of cool. Um, but then I'm like, oh, hang on, like their archives go back to like 2008 or whenever. And I go clicking around. I'm like, oh yeah, they did this feature, this feature. And I'm like, this looks like, They've got a really good long-term story. Like they've been doing this for years. It all makes sense. Um, and it makes them it makes them a better investment. You know, this is why people pick companies like Microsoft and IBM. You know, it isn't always because they have the coolest tech or the best tech. It's because they have the best long-term story. And, you know, kind of the whole you don't get fired for buying IBM uh, kind of mantra that uh, goes around in some, you know, sort of CTO circles. It is true. Like, it's good to have this long-term story. So I think, you know, get content out there straight away, even if it's literally just documenting the process that you're going through in building your product. People are fine with the warts. What people aren't fine with is going to a site and being like, oh, yeah, we've got this amazing technology, but we're not going to tell you anything about ourselves or any of our history. Or and It looks like we could have thrown this site up overnight. Like, people like to see stories. That's just a human, you know, human nature thing.